back them in raisins. Kids love them because they're sweet and chewy. Mothers like them because they're sweetened by the sun. Viewers of a certain age might remember this California Raisins ad from the early 80s, starring a young Molly Ringwald. So, give them raisins and call them nature's candy. Of all the foods that have claimed the nature's candy title over the years, raisins are arguably the most deserving. After all, why would anyone let a perfectly good bunch of grapes wither on the vine if it weren't for the guaranteed payoff of concentrated sugar in the final product? These green grapes will, will turn into your natural dark colored raisins that you buy at the store. Steve Fukugawa has farmed raisins and stone fruit in Kingsburg for nearly 40 years, as did his family for two generations before that. This central San Joaquin Valley has been a major raisin growing area, uh, one of the few in the world that um, is perfect for climate. It, it just makes a very good quality raisin. The Thompson seedless variety is what we uh, make the raisin grapes out of. On average, I, I produce about 40 to 50 tons of raisins per year. And this year looks like a good quality year, so I'm hoping to be closer to the 50 ton range. Steve's optimism about this year's crop comes despite the challenges shared by all Central Valley farmers as a result of California's historic water shortages. Normally, in years past, we've had uh, abundant water supply from uh, our surface system supplied by our canals and the irrigation district. But in the past five years, uh, that water has not been available. The snowfall has not been sufficient enough to, to uh, let us apply the surface system. And uh, we've been relying on our groundwater. And we needed a more efficient uh, drip irrigation system to, to save our resource. To transition from traditional flood irrigation to a drip system, Fukugawa applied for a grant from the State Water Efficiency and Enhancement Program. I proposed a grant to save water with a drip system and power it with a solar system to uh, reduce our carbon footprint. The well is about 150 feet deep, the pump's in, in the well, and it pumps the water up and uh, through the pipe system and into the filtration system for the drip system. And after the water is filtered, it goes down and out underground to the rest of the ranch and feeds the crops. When we drip underneath the canopy of the grapes or in the shade, it's much more efficient. You don't get as much evaporation. And essentially, it's, you use 50% of the water that you would have used in a flood irrigation. Although Fukugawa has enthusiastically embraced new irrigation methods, when it comes to harvesting, he still favors traditional hand picking over the mechanization adopted by many of his neighbors. I like to, to do it the old-fashioned way. It's the way my father taught me, and I, I like employing people to work, and uh, I believe we get a better product for it in the end. We'll handpick each bunch of grapes and put them on approximately a two-foot wide by three-foot long paper tray that's lied down on the smooth surface there. After two or three weeks of drying in the California sun, the transformation from grape to raisin is complete. Tractors come through the fields to scoop up the harvest of another bumper crop of nature's candy. <laughs>